uh, the 554 Strategic Cost Management um, course really focuses on understanding the rationale be behind our buying decisions uh, and, and procurement decisions. And we focus on not just understanding price analysis, although that's an important part of the course. We want to understand something about the total cost of ownership. Um, it's astonishing how many organisations will say, well, we've got a great deal. You know, the price we pay for this PC is X and we've got a great discount. You want to buy it, you're going to, have to pay X plus $20. You say, well, okay, well, what's the total cost that you've incurred? And blank expressions uh, often face you. So you, what we try and do with the um, strategic cost management program is put you in the position of that purchasing analyst and enable you to walk through how the costs are built. So thinking about, well, how far away have we purchased? Not just what is the logistics cost, because quite often that cost is embedded in the landed price that you pay, but how long is it taking me? So if I'm sourcing this computer from, um, from Los Angeles and I'm going to get it the next day, then I don't need to hold as much inventory of a uh, computer. I'm going to give a much better service to the users. However, if my supplier is in Germany and it's a 12-day or 14-day or 20-day business day delivery, then I'm going to have to hold more stock. I'm going to have to hold more inventory. I'm going to have a problem where my customer who needs a computer pretty urgently is going to be waiting a month or so for that computer. So we have to think about the, what you might call the intangible or the invisible elements of price and cost. But quite significantly, we also have to look at where the direct and the indirect and the overhead costs come from, so that we've got a much better position to be able to evaluate how that procurement and how that supply chain is impacting uh, upon us. But total cost of ownership is not just useful for people who are in purchasing. To me, total cost of ownership is one of the most powerful um, approach is one of the most powerful philosophies or one of the most powerful tools, however you want to view it, that supply chain professionals are ever going to use. Because your decisions have to be based on some rationality. How are we going to configure our supply chain for a new product? How many links will there be? Where are the resources coming from? How will those resources flow through uh, the total end-to-end -end supply chain? What happens at the end of life of the supply chain? So TCO not only takes into account um, the upstream supply chain, it takes into account the total life cycle of supply chain. And this course is really focused on enabling, enabling you to understand exactly how you're going to construct a TCO. Sometimes it's about being able to carry out financial analysis. Sometimes it's about being able to estimate. Other times it's being able to use judgment and say, well, it's very difficult to find out the cost of a five-day delay versus a three-day delay. Let's build that up using our intuition. You know, if you've got people waiting for products or you've got excess inventory. Both of those you can kind of use a proxy measure, people's time or the cost of holding inventory. You've got to incorporate the cost of capital that's involved in uh, the total supply chain. So those issues are, are, are quite important um, in construction. Our TCO. One of the leading uh, proponents of TCO is Lisa Elram, who's from the Arizona State uh, University and, and is now uh, a, a professor at the University of Miami in Ohio. Um, and, and Lisa distinguishes between um, repeat and significant purchases and one-off and less uh, important purchases because the way we approach TCO will be very, very different if we're looking at a long-term repeat um, purchase, that has a significant strategic impact in terms of the cost implications uh, and the extent to which we need to do a cost analysis. Um, small, small scale or tactical purchases have a very different uh, requirement, but nonetheless we still have to be aware of how we are impacting upon the financial performance, the cost uh, performance, and really Cost is a consequence, so we we'll, we'll really think about the resource implications of all of our supply chain decisions. Um, we'll certainly give everybody an opportunity to explore their own um, organisations and their own supply chains, TCO, 
Uh, and quite importantly, uh, with the 554 class, this feeds in very significantly uh, into the integrative project and the advanced in integrative project in the second year of the programme. So bottom line is this is an important uh, tool, it's an important approach, and it's a very valuable methodology that not only for the MS programme, but um, professionals in supply chain really need to be conversant with.